Hi, hello. Welcome back to Max Ninja. We were discussing the chapter congruency of triangles. Today we can deal with question number 9 of the exercise, exercise 7.2. Going to be the last section. 9 says that if triangle ABC and triangle PQR are to be congruent, name one additional pair of corresponding part. This is our first question. And one more question. What criteria did you use? So we have to attempt two questions in this ninth one. So first one is, see, whatever criteria we are using, how many criterions we have studied? Four criteria, SSS, SAS, ASA, and the last one, RSS. If we are proving the congruency of triangles by using any one of this criteria, we want three data. So, here they have given only two angles. That extra data we should find out first. That is our first question. Name one additional pair of corresponding parts. So, this is our first question. For that, so these four things should be in our mind. See, they have given one pair of angles. These two angles are, these two, then one more pair of angles and they are also equal Why? How can we recognize that these two angles are equal? See, this is marked by like this and this angle is also marked by two lines. So, we can say that these two angles are equal in this picture. Okay, so I am going to write down angle B equal to angle angle Q and angle C equal to angle R. So we got two angles. So what should be the criterion that we have to use for proving this congruency? Two angles. Two angles means A and A in between these two angles, one side. So the criterion should be ASA criteria because we got two angles. So what should be the extra criterion? What should be the additional pair of corresponding parts that we have to include for proving the congruency of these two triangles? See, this side and this side should be equal. Why did I select these two sides? Because this side is the included side of angle B and angle C and RQ is the side that included in between angle R and angle Q. Here our criteria says that this side should be included with these two angles. So the criterion is ASA criteria. Here I am going to write down the statement and reason and after that I will prove the congruency of these two triangles. First statement. They have given angle B. Angle B is a right angle and angle Q is again a right angle. So angle B equal to angle Q equal to 90 degree given. What is the reason? It's a given data. Then angle C equal to angle R, angle C equal to angle R, again given. Then additional data, what is the additional data that we are including for proving the congruency of these two triangles? That's, uh, that's the answer for the first question, BC, side BC equal to side RQ. Side BC equal to side RQ additional data. Additional data. So this is the answer for the first one. Then what criterion did you use? So Triangle ABC equal congruent to triangle PQR. Triangle ABC equal 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 to triangle PQR. Triangle
C is congruent to triangle P Q R Y by using A S A criteria. So sometimes they may be have given three data and we have to prove the congruency of triangle. But here we have to find out one more additional data for proving the congruency of triangle. I hope you enjoyed my class. If you have any doubt, please ask to me through comment box. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe and support me. Signing off, Yemi Bijay from Max Ninjas.